Okay, so we all use AI, right? And we've all seen it get things wrong or just completely make stuff up. We call it hallucinating. But what if there was a way to teach AI not just what to know, but how to think? Well, that's exactly the skill we're diving into today, ontology engineering. This quote from a recent white paper just nails it. This isn't some science fiction idea for the future. It's happening right now. We're talking about the absolute foundational skill for building that hybrid human AI workforce that we hear so much about. So let's answer that question. In this explainer, we're going to break down what this skill is, how it actually works, and why it might just be one of the most valuable things to understand in our new AI-driven world. To solve one of AI's biggest headaches, you know, its tendency to just confidently invent facts, we can't just keep throwing more and more data at it. That's not the fix. We need to give it a blueprint, a real framework for understanding how our world actually fits together. So what on earth is an ontology? The easiest way to think about it is like grammar, but for knowledge. It's a formal model that doesn't just list a bunch of facts. No, it defines the concepts, their different properties, and this is the crucial part, the rules about how they all relate to each other. It's what allows a machine to comprehend a subject, not just scan text about it. Let's see how these pieces come together to build a sort of logical map. First, you define your concepts, let's say cat and mammal. Then you define their relationship. A cat is a type of mammal. An axiom, which is just a fancy word for a rule, could be that all mammals are warm-blooded. And finally, you add specific instances, like your cat, whose name is Fluffy. Now the system doesn't just know about Fluffy. It can actually infer that Fluffy must be warm-blooded. And that's the magic. You know, this really highlights the huge mental shift we need to make here. We're so used to organizing information for human eyeballs. You know, Word documents, databases, folders on our computers. This is totally different. This is about structuring intelligence for a machine's brain. And ontologies, they're the architecture for that machine-level thinking. So how do you actually build one of these knowledge blueprints? Well, it's not just some technical task you hand off to a developer. It's a formal discipline called ontology engineering, and it has established methods for making sure you get it right. And there's a good reason it's such a methodical process. You have to start with the goal, the purpose. Then you work with experts to map out all the key concepts. After that, you formalize it in a shared language. Once it's integrated, you have to constantly test and maintain it. This whole cycle is absolutely critical. It's what prevents you from baking flawed logic deep inside your AI systems. And there's not just one way to do it either. You can go top down, where you start with big general ideas and get more and more specific. That works great for fields that are already well understood. Or you can go bottom up, where you start with tons of specific data points and then let the general patterns bubble up to the surface. Now, this is so important. This isn't some free-for-all where everyone makes up their own rules. There's a global standard called OWL, which stands for the Web Ontology Language. Having this standard means a knowledge blueprint built for one system can be understood by a completely different one. It also enables these powerful software programs called reasoners to automatically figure out new facts based on the rules you've already put in. Okay, I know this might all sound a bit abstract, but the payoff is incredibly real. Let's look at how actual companies are using this stuff to get some pretty amazing results. 30%? I mean, that's a huge number for any industrial company, but 30% of what? That's the reduction in machine downtime that Siemens was able to achieve. They built what's called a knowledge graph, powered by an ontology, to create digital twins of the real-world systems. This let their AI understand the super complex relationships between all the components and predict failures with incredible accuracy. All right, here's another one for you, 25%. And this time it's in the world of retail. The retail giant Carrefour saw a 25% jump in cross-selling. So how'd they do it? They used product ontologies to help their recommendation engines understand the relationships between things. Not just that people buy peanut butter and jelly together, but things like this product is a gluten-free version of that one, or this is an accessory for that. And it gets even more fascinating. Researchers are now using these owl ontologies to make service robots way smarter. So instead of the robot just knowing you like tea, its ontology can model your preferences as complex situations. It can reason that you prefer tea in the morning, but you like coffee in the afternoon, especially if you happen to be eating a piece of cake. That is a massive leap in a machine understanding context. 
So from factory floors to online shopping carts, these examples really show that this is way more than just some niche tech. It's actually becoming the new architecture for how we work and collaborate with AI. And honestly, the single biggest breakthrough happening right now is combining the structured, reliable knowledge of an ontology with the creative, generative power of a large language model, or LLM. The leading technique for this is called Ontology Grounded RAG. It sounds complicated, but think of it like this. An LLM is like a brilliant student who's also a bit of a scatterbrain. The ontology is their perfectly organized, fact-checked textbook. So before the LLM is allowed to answer your question, it's forced to look up the answer in the textbook first. This makes sure its response is grounded in reality. And the benefits of doing this are just massive. It dramatically cuts down on those AI hallucinations because the model is anchored to real facts. It makes the AI's answers explainable. You can actually trace its logic back to the source. It guarantees correctness and even lets the AI perform really complex reasoning across different parts of its knowledge base. This whole evolution isn't just about creating smarter tools for us to use. It's actually creating entirely new roles and demanding a whole new set of skills from us. We're even seeing the job titles themselves evolve. Knowledge managers are becoming cognitive architecture specialists. They're the people who literally design an organization's brain. Data scientists are turning into intelligence engineers, focusing on that workflow between humans and machines. This is a really fundamental shift in how we think about what expertise even is. So here's the bottom line. The foundation for a truly smart, collaborative future of work is being laid as we speak, one ontology at a time. It requires people who can be that bridge between deep human expertise and machine reasoning. So the final question really isn't about the technology. It's about us. Will you be one of its architects?